Commissioner Burt here for the NFL Fantasy Roundup for the Orion Bowl, the greatest NFL Fantasy League in the world, at least in my opinion, very biased. Uh, yeah, so this is a uh, hello to all the guys in the um, in the Fantasy League and, uh, and uh, yeah, ho- ho- hope you're doing well. Uh, as always, the video has arrived exactly when I intended it to arrive. Not early, not late, always, always as intended. First off, Let's take a quick look at what happened in week uh, 12. No, not week 12, week 11. I'm getting my weeks mixed up. Yeah, so as predicted, the Burtonmore Ravens, I believe I got five out of five on my predictions. I I think that means that is a first. That is a first for the league. So my predictions, I got five on five. I think given that there is also a storm named after me raging right now, I can only assume it is the end of days. Uh, you must panic, panic, uh, con- you know, say I love you to your loved ones. Uh, it's all over. It's all over. Uh, Bert is getting five out of five on his predictions, and there is a storm named after him. This is not looking good, is it? So the Legion of Hot Trash, um, uh, but they're, they're looking good, to be fair. They, 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 did, a, they did a good score, put the Burtonmore Ravens in the bin. Uh, the Gorillas went marching on. The team with no name couldn't even beat a 72 points. Uh, the uh, I say uh, that's the name of B team. Just to clarify, very much the name of B team. They are the yeah, they're, they're the B team. Um, Coach's sons beat the uh, Mineral Site Vikings. That's good. I mean, one of those teams was going to lose, and they're both in the top four. Because um, I'm going to need to start looking at who's in the top four and how. What at what point do they are they undeniable to be in the playoffs? Because I don't think we're far away, to be fair. Uh, Arizona Cardinal managed to beat the Forbes Niners, which is absolutely meaningless for the playoff picture because the Niners were already in. And Arizona, it's good for Arizona because they, they could still make it into the playoffs. So it's good for them. For everybody else, it kind of sucks because we needed Forbes Niners to just keep Arizona kind of down somewhat because it, you know it, they're more competition for that for that for those last. Three playoff spots. Uh, the San Diego Harlots are in top form. Baby Got Dak have been put down to the bottom of the table. And rightly so. 69 points is not the best. It's not the best. And uh, yeah, so let's take a quick look at the league table as it stands. The Forbes United is 9-2. and two, uh, Absolutely destroying it at the top of the table. They've put up 1,241 points on the season. The only ones close to them is 1,119, uh, the coach's sons. And yeah, and... I still think, and also sitting in second place, still the Dallas Trey Gorillas, who have the most sco- points scored against them this season. To have the most points scored against you and still be in second place, that's actually a really, really big achievement. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's seven and four, seven and four. The coaches' sons, both in second and third. Uh, Minnesota Vikings, or the team with no names, A team, are at six and five in position number four. And then you've got five and six, five and six, the Arizona Cardinal and the Legion of Hot Coup. Uh, both of those two are looking. If if there was going to be a change in the top four, realistically, it's looking like being one of those two. So really exciting matchups this week for to see uh, how that how that pans out. Uh, obviously, Burtonmore Ravens have gone back down to uh, to number seven, four and seven on the season, four and seven on the season. San Diego Harlots as well, also four and seven team with no name. and four and seven, uh, baby got Dak. Man, it is crowded in the bottom four at four and seven. Um, yeah, so uh, this week. Obviously, I play uh, let this seamless transition into week 12. Gorillas versus myself, the Burtonmore Ravens. I just want to point out again, the, the website, uh, honestly, they, they've got to improve it. I don't understand why it's not showing me the matchups. So I'm going to have to go from memory because obviously I'm recording this on my phone, so I can't see who's actually playing who. Uh, I think Denver are playing against Las Vegas this week. So uh, anyway, that's who I'm putting in because I, I'm on bye week hell. Uh, obviously, uh, Josh Allen is or is on a bye, so is Robinson. Uh, so I'm having to play Bo Nix, who's a good pickup, decent pickup. I'm also doubling up with Courtney Sutton uh, against uh, the Vegas Raiders. So look, they've got a half decent defense, but I feel like Denver are on a roll at the moment. So fingers crossed, really, is all I can do at this point. I have got Chuba Hubbard back and Bucky Irving. Uh, DK Metcalf, can't remember who he's playing. I think Green Bay are playing San Francisco. Um, so I put Jane Reed's going in there, but obviously San Francisco, a good defense. Zach Ertz has Dallas this week. I know that much. And, uh, the Lions, I can't remember who the hell they're playing, but their defense is 
looking okay. Um, obviously, the Gorillas have already played Pickens and Jerry Judy. Uh, not put up a great amount of points with those two. So it's left the door open. And you know what? I'm just going to, since the predictions are all over the place, uh, all I can do is keep my fingers crossed, really, because I have to win this week. I believe if I win this week, I- I'm more or less mathematically eliminated uh, from the playoffs. So I'm going to stay positive. I think that I've done the best that I can do uh, covering the bye weeks. And I feel like look, if, if Bonix and Court and Sutton can have a good game, then you know, then there's every chance I can win that one. I'm going to predict myself to win. I'm going to try and stay positive. Then you've got Legion of Hot Koo taking on the coach's sons. Uh, you've got two uh, scores in already. So uh, between Harris and and the tight end, you've only got oh, blimey, it's 8.30. That's not great. And then, yeah, seven points. Uh, the coaches' sons got from their kicker, so it is advantage coaches' sons being realistic. Uh, although you still got Hot Koo to play, so that's uh, are you even playing Hot Koo? Oh, he's on a bye. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. Yeah, I mean, look, if Hot Koo's on a bye, the Legion are going to lose. Uh, so there's no point in looking too far behind that one. Um, Chris, Christian McCaffrey being back is great for the coaches' sons, but this is uh, th- this is a good matchup really because they're both in the top four. So. Whoever, yeah, so whoever wins or somebody is actually, no, uh, sorry, they're not in top four. Legion's on the cusp of the top four. So I don't know who, if Legion lose, then at least that kind of stifles some of the competition for myself and the others in, in the, the, the hunt for those last playoff spots. But if the coach's sons win, that, that kind of solidifies their position because they'd be at eight and four. Uh, which is more than enough to get into the playoffs. I don't know who I'm rooting for in that one. I think, I guess, I'm rooting for um, for Legion, but like, it doesn't make a difference really because I think Legion have beaten me twice now. So I think on head to head they'll go ahead of me anyway. So yeah, it doesn't doesn't even matter. Uh, there you got the team with no name against the Forbes the Niners. Uh, Daniels plays against uh, Dallas this week, so I think there should be some good good numbers there for for Daniels and, M- and McLaren. Um, We've got Laporta, C.D. Lamb, who's not having the best of times with Cooper Rush. Uh, they, yeah, but come on, the 49ers. Hurts, Henry, Montgomery, Cup, Collins. There, it's just, he's got so many high-scoring players that you have to lean on the Niners every single time. He's 9-2 and two for a reason. The Niners get the win in that one. And uh, You've got the team with no name of A taking on the San Diego Harlots. I could really do with the Harlots taking the... Taking, uh, Namath A down this week. And they've got the team to do it. The Herbert, Mixon, Barkley, Hill, uh, McConkey, Lad McConkey. What a what a great name, great uh, great player. That you've got um yeah, Lamar Jackson, Eckler, who's uh, still like the number one back in Washington right now. Uh, Travis Kelsey's not been the Travis Kelsey of old. Texans D were better to play last week. I don't think they put up the same numbers as they did against Dallas. I think the door is open. The San Diego Harlots. I, I think I, I hope they win more than anything because it opens the door for a final playoff spot and kind of it makes the race to the playoffs a little bit more interesting. Then the Alley's own a Cardinal against Baby got Dak. Ideally, I need Dak to get back into form here, but I just don't see it happening because because Alley's owner is playing Hawk Tour. You can't lose when you're playing Hawk Tour. God damn, yeah, he's a chains back in form. He's got he's got downs. He's got all the downs. He's got so, Arizona has so much downs. And uh, yeah, to be fair, uh, I think Indianapolis. Oh, the Colts are playing the Lions this week. Yeah, that's why I've kept um, the Lions defense in because uh, yeah, because the Colts are not looking after the ball particularly well, and the Lions are a good defense. So uh, yeah, um, downs Nakua. Uh, why again? I think. You've got, you know, Jonathan Taylor, Dowdle's a bit of a reach. Jefferson's really good. Bowers is really good. Uh, should have played Chubb, really. He's he's already put up, what, 18 points. So, look, um, yeah, I, I selfishly, like, you know, I say who who do I want, who would I rather win this one? It's Baby Got Dak because that gives me a better chance of, of making the playoffs. But uh, looking at the teams, I've got to say, I think that Ali's owner are the stronger team. So, 
I think they're, they're, they're going to get the win in that one. And as always, look, best of luck to everybody as it's heating up. This is the most interesting part of the season. It really is. Like, nobody's... I don't think anybody's completely out of the playoffs yet. And I, don't, I, I think other than the Forbes Niners, nobody is definitely in at this stage. There are, what, one, two, three, four more weeks after this week so, um, yeah, all I can say is best of luck to everybody. I'm going to be watching uh, excitedly at the NFL Mansion later. I hope that I'll see uh, some of you down there. And if I picked you to win, prove me right. If I picked you to lose, prove me wrong. See you next week.